you know how you're reading a book and you want it to be a little bit predictable but then when you turn out to be right you're terrified that's what happened in this book keep watching to find out what book i'm talking about today welcome to kyla's reading day my name is kyla denanyo today we're talking about the book verity the author of the book is colleen hoover the genre of the book is fiction the theme of the book is suspense thriller so Colleen Hoover is a wonderful writer. I've read a number of her books. I'm going and list them here, right? I typically do a lot of the audiobooks and then I'll read the actual book or vice versa. In this case, I could only find the physical book. Hot off the shelf. I don't even have it here for the recording. I had to turn it in. I could only check it out. I think it was 10 days, not even your standard 14 days. And you had to turn it back in. And I was like, okay, let me just burn through it. Let me go, let me go, let me go stopped whatever I was reading to read it and it was worth it because the book was excellent. So I would say the biggest plot twist in the book is finding out what I can't even think of the girl's name is is finding out why Lowen doesn't like to sleep. So in the book Lowen meets Jeremy and you're like okay and Lowen is like oh I recognize that he's in despair. I recognize that he's had a hard life. Oh I've lived that too and you're like oh my gosh what's gonna happen? No no sorry Lowen. And her story was kind of anticlimactic. I mean it's important for me to mention that Lowen did not have that dramatic of a story because when she met Jeremy, she was like, oh, I recognize that we've both been through trauma. And I guess Lowen's trauma on its own was really, really tough. Lowen's trauma compared to Jeremy, I mean, she's not even coming in bronze. I mean, What's wrong with Lowen is not something that I would want to have, but also I was like, that was it? Jeremy's trauma just completely. Let me tell you, when I got about three fourths of the book in, I had to just flip to the next chapter to see what happened because I could not wait. And this has not happened to me for a very, very long time. I was reading and I just was, I was like, I have to know, right? And Colleen Hoover writes a lot of romantic stories, a lot of love stories, but this book was not that. This book was dark characters, really anti-heroes, you know, really gruesome thoughts, really harsh realities about postpartum life. I'm telling you. <laughs> Thumbnail is actually the picture that I took when I finished the book because I was like, what did I just read? So would I reread the book? No, I can't. I cannot. <laughs> this book terrified me. It took me back to when I was a little kid. I went to a sleepover and someone was watching a scary movie. They were watching Chucky. And I'm like in the corner plugging my ears because I didn't even want to hear it and covering my eyes, you know, and um, it was good, but it was scary, so. If you are looking for a scary book, please pick this up, right? Colleen Hoover is definitely showing her writing chops and she's proving that she can hold her own in the suspense and thriller theme of books. So thank you for watching another episode of Kyla's Reading Day. Today we were talking about the book Verity. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've read the book, if you enjoy scary books, right? Let me know if you enjoy reading scary books at all. And I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.